This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can isolate a single color from an image using GIMP. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here with GIMP. The first thing I'm going to do is just open up the image I'm going to use. If you'd like to use this image as well to follow along with this tutorial, I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. Also, if you'd like to know how you can update GIMP with this new interface, I'll have a link to that information in the description as well. So uh, to get started here, there's various different ways you can go about isolating just the red car from the image and having the rest of the image be grayscale. For one, you can create a copy of this where it's all grayscale and then just manually crop this out, but that's, that's quite time consuming. What I'm gonna show you is how to do that in a, in a very simple and quick way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this layer, I wanna right click this and make sure we have an alpha channel added where it says add alpha channel. If you can click that, go ahead and click it. If you can't, that means you already have an alpha channel, so we're all set. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that layer by clicking the button right here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to take the bottom one and turn the visibility of that off. Just so we have, it's always good practice to have an extra copy of the original image uh, sitting around just in case you go too far down the rabbit hole and you need to start again from the beginning. So we have a copy of that sitting there, so we're all set. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to colors and hue saturation. And the good thing about GIMP is that it allows us to manipulate each individual color within an image. So for example, with this image, I wanna isolate the red car from the rest of the image. In order to do that, I'm gonna bring down the saturation of all the other colors and leave red as it is. So I'll start out with yellow, I'll click on the yellow, and I'm gonna take the saturation and bring that all the way down. And if you notice, that's gonna get, a, that's gonna get rid of a lot of uh, the walls there in the background. I'll click on green, I'll bring that all the way down as well. I'll click on cyan, bring that all the way down as, as well. Click on blue, bring that all the way down. And then when I click on magenta, I have to be a little careful because there's a little bit of magenta here in the, uh, in, in the uh, reflections of the car. If you notice, if I bring that down, it leaves that those areas, those reflections gray. And this is something you're gonna run into regardless of what kind of image you're using. There's always gonna be overlap between two close colors. Like for example, if you're trying to isolate a blade of grass from um, maybe like a, 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 a background image of a blue sky, when you bring down the green, when you bring down the saturation of the blue, it's gonna take a little bit of that green with it. So this is one of those things you just have to play with until you get it just right. We wanna bring it down a little bit, but not so much that it turns gray like that. So I'm gonna turn that up. I'm actually gonna leave the magenta all the way up because there's no magenta in the rest of the image here. And now I'm gonna click on the red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit as well. You would, you, would, you would normally think to keep it all the way up, but the problem is these spots here on the wall and a lot of the ground here, there's a little, there's little hints of red in there as well. It almost looks copper, like a copper uh, color. So that's one thing we have to pay attention to as well. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. I'm gonna take the overlap and bring that all the way up. And you're gonna see that's gonna get rid of a lot of the problem right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the saturation of the red so that we can still see the red of the car, but the, uh, the background here has, has turned a little dull. I'm going to bring the satch I'm going to bring the overlap back down actually. It looks better that way. And this is something you're going to have to play with on a per image basis. With this particular image, the o it looks better with the overlap brought down. So, I'm going to bring that down a little bit as well. And I'm going to leave that just as it is and go ahead and click OK to finalize that. So, as you can see, we're almost there but not quite. Uh, we have the red car here, but the background here there's little little uh, blobs of color in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer by clicking the button that says create a duplicate of the layer. And I'm gonna make this completely grayscale by going to colors, um, desaturate. And just go ahead and click okay. I'm gonna use the lightness, the lightness filter, go ahead and click okay. And I'm gonna take this image and just bring it beneath the other layer. And what I'll do now is I'll just grab the eraser tool. I'll make the brush an appropriate size, maybe something like that. Uh, that's pretty good. Choose uh, uh, the appropriate brush. I like to use this one right here, the 050 hardness. And you can just go ahead, oops, wrong layer. Let me undo that. Click on the top layer and just start erasing away the areas where there's color showing through. And then in that erased area, you will see the black and white segment of the photo. Now this is kind of like, um, this is almost as if you were to like do this manually, like I said in the beginning, but 
it's a lot less time consuming than actually cropping out the car from the background. So I'm gonna zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I'm just gonna go here, go through here and just get these areas. You might wanna shrink down your brush and, and be a little more precise with this, but I'm just kinda of just doing this um, in a rudimentary way for the sake of uh, keeping this video at a reasonable length. Just go through here and erase this out. Get rid of that. Get rid of this here. There's a little bit of um, oops. There's a little bit of uh, color bleeding through there. Get rid of that. Get rid of this up here. And like I said, if you want, you can get a little more granular with this. You could really zoom in on this and, and make sure you have it perfected. But I'm just going to leave this like this for now. That's good enough for the video. Let me zoom out, make sure there's nothing else uh, sticking out here. Got a little bit on the wall over here. And as you can see, we pretty much have accomplished what we set out to do. We, we, we very In a very simple way, we created our image where we isolated a single color and the rest of the image is desaturated. So that's how you can go about doing that with GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.